I do feel that we live in a world where you are guilty unto proven innocent. If it's a white woman, so you have a black man who looks like Jonathan Majors, and it's a white woman, and most of this market are white mothers. And it's a wild one. <laughs> it's a wild one, man. And so I just want to just understand, are we still innocent until proven guilty? That's what I want to know. Are we still innocent until proven guilty or are we still guilty until proven innocent? Because here's my thing. I do feel that we live in a world where you are guilty until proven innocent. Because that would make um, them pull all of the ads for Jonathan Majors and so forth, you know. With all the stuff that happens, you have to wait until all the evidence has come through. He could be guilty, but he could also be innocent. So, you know, because, trust me, we have seen, and Chris Brown has been involved in both sides of, of the coin, where with Rihanna, he was guilty, and with the other woman who was trying to frame him, he was innocent. So, we have to always wait and not jump into any conclusions. But as I was watching a video, shout out to Double Toast, you know, great, great students. I was watching their video on it. And this is the sickness of the world that we live in. I think it's the same thing that happened to, I think, Anziz Ansari, um, comedian. He was, he was proven fully innocent. The world is so sick that even if he's proven innocent and so forth, people will still say, well, do you know, is he really innocent? Is he really so... That will stick with him no matter what happens. People will always look at him away no matter what happens. And certain um, companies and so forth who may, may be even thinking of fronting him under will be like, well, I know we want you, you know, but you know, we have a large female audience. And even if you are proven innocent, a large female audience still feel away because you know the whole thing of no, believe her. No matter what, always believe her, always believe her. So I just think that whatever happens, he's, he's screwed. Whatever happens to the script, the fact that this these allegations came through his script, because now the update is that she has, has recanted her statement. And now here's now be real here. All because she recanted her statement doesn't now exonerate Jonathan Majors. It does not mean that he is now innocent. Because did she recant the statement because she lied? Or did she recant her statements because she felt under pressure? You know, and there's certain women who, because they feel under pressure of external forces, they're now forced to recant their statements. So we do not know the situations that these things happen in. So look, my thing here is this is that <laughs> social media people that you know, I have to be on social media for my work to promote stuff and everything, but I actually hate being on social media because you can just see how I think people revel in people's downfall. They actually enjoy people's downfall. Like, oh my gosh, he was so good. Now he's an animal. And I'm like, bro. And what I just find so crazy is how... So once this has happened, people are like, yeah, man, he was always like, like, like this. You know, like I walked with him and he was always like this. Why did you say this before? So you're only saying this now that this stuff is coming through. I mean, I told you, I keep saying this. The problem is people. People are the problem in this world. Not the planet. And it's people that are the issue. So look... What did Disney do? What do Disney do? Because Disney are in a very tricky situation. I told you, innocence or guilty, they're in a tricky situation because it's all about perception. I told you, like, I have no problem with, like, the army pulling his ads because it's a business thing. Because, you see, as, let's say I'm in charge of PR or so, so forth, it's not, it's not about innocence. I'm sorry. Perception and innocence do not work hand in hand. Perception is perception. Perception is independent of whether you're innocent or guilty. So even if it's proven innocent, if a certain part of the market you're going for perceive you in a certain way for whatever reason, even if you're proven innocent, they'll be like, yeah, well, I don't know. No. No, sorry. So, so I, I don't, I don't care what the evidence says and so forth. No, something must have happened, and I still think the man is an animal. I still think that the, the man is brutal and he's evil. Doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what the video evidence shows. Doesn't matter what, what, what it said and so forth. He is still evil. I'm still against him. Perception. So, 
if you're Disney, you've got to test the waters and see whatever happens, whenever the evidence comes through, how do people perceive Jonathan Major? Whether he's guilty or innocent, how do people perceive him? Because if they perceive him negatively, you've got to recast. It's criminal. Remember, we're dealing with Disney. We're dealing with families now. Because remember, this is Disney. This isn't like a Lionsgate or a New Line or so forth, where you know, you know, you're or, or like a, an an A twenty four, where you're much more of a niche market, bro. That's, that's how that's Bomas racism or Gibson has has a career because he's now doing niche films. Disney, this is on mass, and when you're doing on mass mainstream with families, and when you're doing with families, these are mothers bringing in their kids. You do the female market is very important. So for Disney, the female market, which is the markets of mothers and their kids, because most of Disney's market is mothers and kids. So how will the woman perceive a Jonathan Majors? That is very key. And bruh, I tell you, man, and this was a sad thing. Guilty or innocent, I just think that the perception is just going to be, and you know what makes it even real as well? You see, that's what I was like, Ugh. I think it's a white woman. You see, it's it's one thing if it was a black woman. If it's a white woman, so you have a black man who looks like Jonathan Majors, and it's a white woman, and most of this market are white mothers. Johnny May, Johnny Mage, man, Johnny Mage. Ah, it's looking tricky, bro. But again, let's see what the evidence shows. Let's see what the evidence shows, man. Wow.